guys, welcome to my art channel and today we're going to be talking about how to draw a female face. Um, some tips and tricks, things I've learned, um, what's useful, what's not, so let's get started. Um, if you watched my other video, if I've had it up yet, um, if I haven't then just ignore that, but um, if you're just beginning to draw faces, I would say always start with drawing a line and then a line. Uh, one line going straight up, the other one going across, um, and have that be the base for everything you do. So, um, let me get my, get my uh, pencil brush out. I think it looks better. Um, it's here. Okay, so we're gonna draw. I don't draw super straight lines, so just bear with me. So, um, one across, one um, in the middle as as much as you can, and then um, just draw a circle in the middle of that. Probably an oval shape more than unless you just want your character to have, um, you know, a round a rounder kind of face. But most people, it's kind of an oval shape overall. Um, so, I'd say just to be safe, draw noble, okay? Um, and then, um, before you start drawing, just remember the lines that you've drawn. They are the base for everything that you're going to do. Um, so, the eyes go straight in the middle of the, of the, uh, across the line. So, and then the nose... Um, either side goes like that, and then if you, to have the mouth exactly, draw another line in the middle of the lower half to see where the mouth should be, and then you can just draw a mouth there. So now that we've got our basic template, we're going to start drawing the fem what the feminine and female look of this would be. So... Let's go ahead and start looking at the eyes first. Um, now, what I'm going to tell you is not, it's not strictly true to real life. Obviously, um, whenever you're drawing, you have to emphasize a lot more and like generalize a little bit. So don't take what I'm saying as like, um, what what people look like in real life but just in drawing they look a little different so I would say to draw female eyes I always make them a little bit bigger than male eyes um, overall uh, I try to make the lines a little bit darker too um, a little bit more definition and I definitely add a lot more eyelashes than than I would on a male face because um, we're used to seeing women, you know, wear mascara and stuff, so it kind of gives the look of that. Um, so I'd say if you're following along, do some really dark eyelashes. Um, and eyelashes can be really simple. What I'm doing, I'm just kind of scribbling, um, scribbling over, you know, the top half of the eye and just making it look kind of full and stuff. Um, and then you can, you know, draw the pupil. Um, and just make everything look a little bit... Picture, like, you can even look at my face if you want. It's not, you know, the best example, but it's an example. And, like, think about the people that you know that look really feminine. And just, like, accentuate those aspects of their face. Um, let's talk about the eyebrows now. Because the eye, you kind of need to draw the eyebrows to know where the nose is, at least for me. So, whenever you're drawing eyebrows, you really need to frame the face, um, frame the eyes, uh, because they are what give your character expression. Um, so, these are a little bit too thick, but for female eyebrows, you can do really be really thin like I guess they can be thick but not really hairy I guess 
if that makes any sense. Um, and if they're kind of higher up, I've noticed that looks a lot more feminine as well. Um, it can make them, you know, dark or light or whatever you want. Just not huge and not really low down. Um, and I'm going to move on to the nose now. Um, again, framing the face, framing the eyes is really important, especially with the nose and the eyebrows. So, um, with the nose... Again, you don't want it to be too harsh. Um, and you can draw, like, um, depending on what style you have, you can draw whatever nose you want. Um, and it can be a long nose or a short nose. I mean, um, with noses, I like anyone, either gender can have, like, different kind of noses. It's not, well, maybe it is, but from... For me, I've drawn lots of different noses with women, and they all still look like female characters. So, um, and with the lips, um, again, I'm trying to look this, make this look really feminine. Uh, so, the lips, you want to make them kind of uh, wide. Um, the mouth, actually the mouth. And then, um, for the lips, you want to make them kind of big as well. They obviously look a lot more like a female character when they're really big, so um, that's a good tip. Um, some men have big lips as well, but if you're trying to draw a female character, this is the way to go, usually. Um, let's try that again. I'm, I draw as like, I'm drawing this in real time, and I usually draw uh, parts of the body uh, several times, several different ways, so. I might do this a few times again. So, um, just draw whatever kind of, uh, style you're into. Um, and, wow, these lips are, I think I made them a little bit too flat. Um, there we go. Okay, now we're going to move on to the actual face shape. I know we drew an oval. But actually, you know, the jawline and stuff. Um, I Your female characters can have really harsh jaws if you want them to. Um, there's not a rule about that. Um, I kind of like the harsh cheekbones a little bit. Um, um, and then, you know, the ears go slightly above this line, just a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's, and the neck is obviously, that's one of the big difference between male and female characters. Their necks, the female characters' necks are usually a lot smaller than the male characters' necks. Um, I think that's one thing that I really helped me to find what char what kind of character I'm drawing um, would be the neck. So definitely, um, if you're drawing a family character, have it be a smaller neck. And again, this is kind of hard to like generalize because different styles, you know, you might have a style where all the characters have really thick necks and this, you know, the female characters still look feminine. So it really depends on what style you're drawing. Uh, from and what your preference, preferences are for, you know, what, because you're making your own character for, you know, a comic book or just character design, concept art, and, you know, you have to decide what they're going to look like. Um, but this is just a uh, really basic, some tips that I have learned, um, that help me, um, it's been helpful for me to actually express how I draw them because I, it's kind of interesting for me because I don't really think words like okay then I'm gonna I'm gonna draw this a certain way then I'm gonna draw that a certain way so I'm trying to like explain how I do things it's interesting for me but hopefully it's helpful um, and then we're not talking about hair but she looks kind of weird without hair so 
you know guys, just what kind of, whatever kind of hair you like drawing the best. Mm -hmm. And I might have a drawing, a hair drawing tutorial whenever I actually know how to draw hair. So that, that might happen. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, yeah. So that's about it for my tutorial on how to draw female faces. I'm probably going to upload a few more just on this subject because um, I'm trying to do more how-to videos and um, I, I really want it. I really want these videos to help you guys, and I, um, I, I really want to ma make videos that help you guys because I know whenever I started drawing, it was really hard for me to just wing it, do it by myself, so I know that YouTube videos really help me, so I hope these will help you guys. Um, if you like this video, comment below and, uh, tell me how the process went, or you can... Uh, tweet me at Jordan Allaire and, uh, you know, tweet me a picture of the finished drawing if you use this template for drawing. This is a really basic template, but hopefully it helps you. And don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday, and this month, um, April, I'm going to be uploading a bonus video every um, every Wednesday, so look out for that. So, yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.